Hi everyone, my name is Shauna in case you don't know and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be doing the LeakyCon tag. In case you don't know, LeakyCon is the Harry Potter convention. It travels around the world, it mostly stays in the United States, although it has gone to Ireland once in the time since I have started attending LeakyCon. LeakyCon Orlando, the one that I was supposed to go to this year, was postponed yet again another year to 2022, which works up well for me because I have some health issues and I'm trying to work through them and get a little better before LeakyCon comes around or else I'll be having to drink nasty protein drinks during the convention and that would suck. Let's keep our fingers crossed, let's hope that I feel good and that I don't have to use a wheelchair and that I don't have to drink nasty protein drinks. Speak it into existence. I want to be better by summer of next year for LeakyCon. I want to be healthy when I'm there. So this tag basically has a bunch of questions about LeakyCon and just like getting to know you and those type of things. So I will be answering all the questions. Number one, how many LeakyCons have you been to? I have been to three. I went to the 2016 one in Los Angeles. I think it might've been in Burbank, which is very close to Los Angeles. So I just say it was in Los Angeles. And then I went to LeakyCon 2018 and 2019, both of which were in Dallas, Texas. Question number two is if you've been before, what's your favorite memory? If you haven't, what are you most excited for? My favorite memory was honestly meeting Chris Villain at LeakyCon 2016. Chris Villain is a cosplayer and he was like extremely nice, extremely friendly. The reason why that memory was so important to me is because not only was it like a very special memory, but I wouldn't say that Chris and I were like friends, but we definitely like talked nonstop a lot on Twitter when I was going through a rough patch in high school. And I don't know if he knows this or not. I hope he knows it. I He might not know it. He helped me get through some very tough times, like because it felt like I had him as a friend, even though like we weren't really friends, like he didn't follow me, but like he responded to my tweets and it really like had a big impact on me and helped me through some tough things. And like, it was all because I, I wanted a picture with him at LeakyCon because he was doing the little stage production. And so, yeah, that was just like a really fun moment that has an impact on my entire life. Question number three is what Hogwarts house are you? I'm a proud Hufflepuff. I don't have any Hufflepuff gear on right now. I have this empty Hufflepuff container that a banner was in, so Hufflepuff stuff near me. Used to think I was a Ravenclaw and used to think I was a Gryffindor, but definitely Hufflepuff. Taken the Wizarding World quiz a few times and it always says Hufflepuff. What are your favorite fandoms? I'm in a ton, so it's hard to list all of my favorite fandoms, but I'm going to try to list some of them. So Harry Potter, Hunger Games, Divergent, Maze Runner, Doctor Who, Supernatural, Umbrella Academy, Stranger Things, The Witcher, The Flash, Star Wars, Pokemon, Grimm, Disney, Marvel, and a bunch of different animes. Although I'm sure there's more that I forgot, those are just the ones that came to my mind right now. Number five, why did you decide to go to LeakyCon? Well, the reason why I went to LeakyCon in 2016 was because that was when I turned 16 and it was sort of like a like sweet 16 present because like people do that. And I went with one of my close friends that I've been friends with since I was basically a baby. And then it was like really fun to go there and it felt like nice to be surrounded by other Harry Potter fans and to be surrounded by a very accepting community. And so that's why I continue to go to LeakyCon. Number six, if you're a LeakyCon regular, what's some advice for first timers? If you've never been, do you have any questions? Since I've only been to three Leaky Cons, I don't necessarily consider myself a regular, but I will try and give you some advice. So two tips. The first one goes for everyone. Plan out what panels you want to go to, but also be flexible with your schedule. Panels do sometimes fill up rather quickly, so if you want to go to a panel, you really gotta try and get there earlier. I think that panels are personally like what makes the KeyCon so different from other conventions. Their panels are a lot of fun. A lot of the ones are fan run and those ones are just as much fun as the ones with the actors in it. In fact, sometimes they're a little funner and just like the audience will get involved and it is so much fun. Be flexible with your schedule. They do get filled up and you need to have time to eat. And I'm sure that almost every hour you'll find at least one panel that you want to go to. So like, don't plan from 8 a.m. to like 4 p.m. to go to a panel every hour. Like, you have to skip some panels to eat food, like take care of yourself, you know? Because there's gonna be so many amazing panels, they're all gonna look good, but I promise you, you're gonna have so much fun even if you miss out on one or two panels because you need food or a nap. My other advice that I have, so my like second piece of advice, is for anyone with a chronic illness or a disability or any sort of like mobility or visual impairment or anything along those lines. So LeakyCon is very, very accommodating. It is practically the most accommodating and accepting convention that I've ever been to in my life. They will do whatever they can to help you and you just, you can't be afraid to ask for help. Go to the help desk and ask for help and they will help you out. Don't be afraid to talk to people. If you're like, I need help, I don't know where I'm supposed to sit with my badge, I don't know what this little sticker means for my accommodations, like they will help you out. They're so great at helping you out. Don't be afraid to ask for help 
and if you're really that nervous about it, what I did last year was I knew that I needed to bring a wheelchair, so I asked them if they had wheelchairs at the location in case I needed to borrow one, and they easily got back to me and helped me figure it all out. So if you are nervous about accommodations before you go, you can just send LeakyCon an email. I don't remember their specific email right now, but I'm sure it's on their website, but they are so helpful. They will do anything they can to accommodate you, so just keep that in mind and ask for help if you need it. Question number seven is, are you going to cosplay LeakyCon? If so, what as? I definitely am, but I'm undecided which characters I'm going to be going as. Normally, I decide my characters based on the actors that are going. So I have a photo from a different convention here to show you like how I match my outfits to the characters. So at this convention, Matthew Lewis and Jason Isaacs were there, and since Matthew Lewis plays Neville and Neville passed out with the Mandrake, I like planned my outfits that he'd be holding the Mandrake because I thought that would be fun. So after more guests are announced and after the photo op schedule is announced, then I will definitely plan out my cosplays and figure out which ones I'm doing which days. You can head on over to my Instagram if you'd like to. I have a lot of photos there of my different cosplays, and I'm sure that I'm probably going to be bringing some of those. Since it's in Orlando, I'm specifically looking at bringing my wedding version of Luna Lovegood in her dress from Golden Fleur's wedding because that one doesn't have sleeves, so it'd be pretty cool. Question number eight is if someone were to come up to you, what would be the best way for them to start a conversation with you? Okay, so if someone wants to come up to me and talk to me, you can talk to me about practically anything. Just be nice about whatever you're saying. Don't like say anything creepy or rude, which I'm assuming that none of you would. You could ask for a picture. You could ask me how I'm doing. You could tell me that you like a certain character and like can like obsess over it with you. I'm completely happy to talk with anybody about anything at LeakyCon because all of you there are so nice and fun to talk to. So yeah, don't be afraid to come up and say hi to me if you know me. I think LeakyCon Orlando is going to be fun because I already know that at least two of my internet friends are most likely going to be there, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Question number nine, and the final question for this tag is, which special guests are you most looking forward to? I don't know if they were able to get any guests for 2022 announced yet. I know that they had Devin Murray and Josh Herdman and Stan Yanevsky scheduled for 2020, then they moved them to 2021 once the date got postponed, but I don't know if they moved them to 2022 yet, but I'm honestly happy meeting any guest that's there. There's always at least one actor that I want to meet there. Some ones that I'm hoping to see there that would be nice to see is Luke Youngblood. I'm hoping to see him again. I really want to meet Hugh Mitchell. I really want to see Devin Murray again. I would love to see Allison Sudol again. And I'd love it if there's maybe some author guests that went that I knew because I've been starting to get more up to date with current releases with books. Because the last couple of years I went, I wasn't really up to date with current releases from books, so I didn't really know the authors very well. So that's really all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't already. If you are missing LeakyCon like I am, you can head on over to my Instagram. I'm constantly posting more and more pictures from LeakyCon over the years because I have a ton and I love reliving all those memories by looking back at the photos. If you've been to LeakyCon before, feel free to leave a fun memory from the convention down in the comment section below. And if you haven't been to LeakyCon. Do you want to go? Are you interested? Feel free to let me know. For now, I hope all of you have a great weekend, and I'll see all of you in my next video. Goodbye!